The Neptune Investments handicap is next, and this is a mile and a half, naught to 90 handicap. There's a huge field for this, and I've got a full list of them now. Uh, the top one is Run Out of Names for Craig Beckwith. Steve Rand's got an X2 People's Poet and Tomodachi Magic. Our Sin in Law Pashas for James Shea. El Paso Impact, Vinnie Gerard. How many drinks? Darren Thompson. Raynell Sailor for Alex Ince. Sandbar for Martin Leedham. Galash for Daniel French. Rise All Star for Thomas Rogers. Evil Wind for Martin Leedham. That's back from last season. Geisha Kate for Ryan Costello. Raphael Ashore, Alex Cherry. Galloping Cure for James Shea. Petronel for Satyam. Noble Quest for Craig Beckwith. Bells Varine. Thomas Rogers, Eileen Donan, Alex Cherry, give us a break, Graham Clutterbuck, Ty Braveheart, Dan Hughes, Grecian Goddess, Terry Hansen, Destiny's Game, Satyan and Camacho Dancer for Ryan Costello. That's a huge field then for this. And away they go. And no newcomers, of course, this time because it's a handicap. So they all like to have a rating. And Ty Braveheart and Petronel right over on the far side disputing the lead and also Destiny's Game. So it looks like the two Satyam horses are going to come through to get over to this rail and share the lead. And they are doing just that. It's Destiny's Game and Petronel who dispute the lead then. And I wonder whether this race should have been run at Newmarket really, but not at all. Now outside might have a few problems, but it's Destiny's Game in the lead from Petronel in second then Eileen Donor and Galloping Cure and Tomodachi Magic is after that one and Galloping Cure Camacho Dancer is also there as well they're racing now down towards the final mile and it's Destiny's Game and Petronel disputing the lead as they begin to take the final mile Destiny's Game is in front from Petronel in second Eileen Donor is third and Galloping Cure is fourth then comes Tomodachi uh, magic after that one as they now make this swing around this turn and that's going to cost a few of them a few lengths on that far side maybe not too bad though but it's Destiny's going in the lead from Petronel in second Eileen Doan in his third and then Galloping Cure then comes Camacho Dancer Tomodachi Magic arsene in Patch just trying to get into it looking towards the back a few of these haven't got into it at all but it's Destiny's Game and Petronel it's still a 1-2 for Satyam and they're four lengths clear of Camacho Dancer and Eileen Doan and then Tomodachi Magic right over on the far side with his stable mate People's Poet Evil Wind is up there as well that one on my last day of last season and Tom Braveheart is now trying to come through as well. Our sin in law Pashtus is after that one, but it's Petronel and Destiny's Game 1 and 2 still from Ty Braveheart in second. Our sin in law Pashtus and then Camacho Dancer and Galloping Cure. Evil Wind is next. Then Raynell Sailor also trying to get into his sandbar, but they've got to get to this Satyam pair. It's Destiny's Game and Petronel first and second. Camacho Dancer is in third. Our sin in law Pashtus and Galloping Cure. Then comes Sandbar. Then Evil Wind down this near side. Eileen Donan trying to get back into it again. Also, still there is People's Poet, but they've not got to Destiny's Game yet. The second Satyam horse has dropped away, but it's Destiny's Game from Arsene and all Pashtas. Sandbar is finishing well. Rise All Star is trying to get into it as well. There's still a full on to go. And now Arsene and all Pashtas takes it up from Petronel, who's come back for a second go from being given a bit of a rest. And Petronel has now burst back into the lead again. A strange race for this one. Looked like he was beating a furlong ago, but he's now three, four, five bends clear. Fast finishing El Paso. Impact is going to take second. And it's close for third. Bells are in Arsene and all Pashtas. Rise All Styles after that one. And a field will trail back to Grecian Goddess, who will have to go down as a bit of a disappointment. But it's a win for Satyam, but as a steward's inquiry, it's won by a long way though. And it's kept the race as you would have expected it to do. So Petronel, the winner for Satyam, off a good weight there, good low weight, and took it nicely. El Paso Impact for Vinnie Gerald was second. Our sin in law Pashas for James Shea was third. Thomas Rogers took fourth and fifth with his two horses there, whose names have just disappeared from my screen. I think one of them was called Rise All Star. Um, and we'll get the name of the other one in a minute. And Rise All Star was fifth. Bells Varine was fourth.